So, I'm doing this on a Sanyo ZH1 720p camcorder. Um, it's a piece of junk, honestly, but I got it for free. And I got it for free someplace. I'm not going to say. I'm not, not anybody's business to tell anybody where I got this one for free. Um, so I thought that I'd do a test video outside uh, before the sun sets fully. It's like 6.40 something at night, uh, September 20th. So um, I have two devices here. And I'm just going to uh, do a little bit of a showcase here since, uh, well, that's sort of uh, what I've wanted to do for about a week now, at least for this guy. This one I just got today. So let's start off with this guy. This is a Motorola Droid X. I picked this up for $15, and I picked it up at a yard sale. I go around to yard sales and I'll ask, hey, you got any old phones or old computers or anything like that? And uh, if they do, uh, I take a look at it and I make an offer. In this particular case, this guy had a Droid X, so I picked it up. So, let's take a look-see here. It did have a screen protector on it, but I took it off. Check out the zoom on that baby. Oh, uh, it doesn't zoom in all the way. Anyway, let it go. There it is. Still loading. As far as I can tell, it's got like an 850 something by 858 by 480 panel. Uh, no idea the size. Five inches or something. I have no idea. Uh, it's really weird holding this camera the way it is, looking through the viewfinder for this because I'm so used to having my uh, point and shoot. So it is now 7 o'clock p.m. 6.44 p.m., I'm sorry. I was right. On September 20th. So, there we go. Oh. We got... How much battery I got left? Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So it's just a phone. Supposedly it's single core uh, with like half a gig of RAM and some other stuff, but it's got it's your typical Android 2.3 device. Uh, features it comes with is an HD 720p uh, capable 8 megapixel camera in the back, which I think is complete bullshit. I don't, I don't think that's uh, will it focus. Will it focus? focus there. I think it's complete bullshit. I have no use for something like this save to use as a internet, well, a portable internet device to have in my pocket with Wi-Fi. That's pretty much about it. I would not use this as a normal phone. For one, because it is a Verizon phone and I would have to get a data plan, for which I am not currently on. I'm on a very, very grandfathered family share plan with 750 minutes. Uh, so between me and the rest of my family. Uh, so, we still have that, and we are not moving up to any sort of data plan at all whatsoever, because none of us have a smartphone. The only one with a smartphone is me. That's my 755P, although it's not very smart nowadays. Remember, this was the contender to the iPhone, the, 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 the competitor. The, the, it was iPhone, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It was Palm's competition to the iPhone 1. So, pair that with that. That's where the phone went in like four years. So, 
it's just a normal device. It's got a jazzy red shutter button with the uh, double press for taking pictures and stuff. Uh, battery lies underneath this cover here. Actually, have to get a grip on it, get it out of there. That's how it's held on. Battery is like what? 3.7 volts. It does not tell you how big it is, but I've read some places around 2,000 milliamp hours. Here we go. 1,500 milliamp hours. There's all the information you need to know. It's from 2011, so it's only a few years old. Yep. Nine eighteen twenty twelve. Not showing the rest of that information. No, sir. There we go. What the what the deal with all these planes? Jeez. There we go. Back on. That didn't turn on. Good. Okay. Next. Nokia Lumia 520. I picked this up over at Walmart for 50 bucks, and I originally planned to use it for what this one will soon become, uh, as, well, what I'm going to use it for. This is going to be used for web browsing and stuff in my pocket, I guess, when I'm not someplace and I don't have a, well, when I do have a Wi-Fi connection and whatever, because using an iPod Touch for that sort of a thing is not so good after all, it seems. Uh, this, it's a Windows phone, runs uh, Windows 20. I forgot my password. I forgot my password. Oh, it forgot it. 411, it didn't get it. Now it does. My password is 4114 for anyone who, uh, taking a, uh, a quick guess as to what my password is. No, I'm joking, it's not 4114. It's actually something completely different and I did that just for the hell of it. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I got Windows Phone 8. And as you may think, it's got Cortana. So if I were to tell it to, uh, Do an impression. Oh, of course. Do an impression. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What the shit? That's one of those shitty Southwest planes that they redesigned too. What the shit with all the. Oh. So, yeah. There's that, and, uh. Do you like Clippy? Clippy taught me how important it is to listen. If you ask it more than once, do you like Clippy? What's not to like? That guy took a heck of a beating, and he's still smiling. <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. So, uh, I'm probably not going to do much with this as far as anything, really. It's just for farting around. 65% battery left. Uh, I am going to probably be, uh, what do we got here? What's it saying I have? What's going on here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
that makes sense. Sorry, people out there in YouTube land. It seems I have a setting wrong. I completely didn't do that. More planes! I completely didn't just uh, accidentally hit the record button on this. I, I completely didn't do that. So, looks like, uh, what do we got here? Data sense. Point three gigs. Because there's no cellular stuff. No, of course. Um, and there's FM radio. But to use that, you have to plug some. Uh, you have to plug some headphones in, and then you can use it through the headphones or through the speaker, which I find pretty cool. It's an actual FM radio built into the phone. It's like completely awesome. Completely awesome. In fact, I think that's the first time I've seen that sort of a thing. Um, so yeah, it's just for farting around. There's no real reason why I have either of these. Uh, this one, a friend of mine said that if I were to uh, get an AT&T phone ever within my entire life, I was... What the shit? Where is it? It's over there. Fucking planes. Every two minutes. What the shit? Not even that. Every minute and a half. There's a plane going on overhead. Oh my god. So yeah, it's pretty neato. I can, uh... There's maps and stuff too. And there is music on here too, but I don't want to mess with that in YouTube. Um, and of course, you have you have to deal with Internet Explorer as your uh, internet browser, but I believe um, Opera Mini is in beta stage for it, which is a godsend for people who are bent on having a Windows phone. I personally think that it's great. It does everything that I would ever need it to do in a phone. It's only smart when I need it to be, and I'm still smarter than the phone. Because if you're not smarter than your phone, then you have a problem. Uh, as far as this one's concerned, that has yet to be seen. I'm going to try and uh, drop Sanogen mod on it, uh, see what happens. There are nightly builds for this. It's called uh, Shadow in the nightly uh, repos. So that's going to be pretty interesting. That has 8 gigs of memory inbuilt, and I'm going to see if I can make any particular use out of any of it. I'm hoping so, at least. I mean, it's, it's pretty good for a phone, but I'd rather it be running something that I can actually mess around with instead of just being a stupid piece of shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. There's an Android phone. There's a Windows phone. I own both. And I'm probably going to be using that one more than that one, because that one I just got today, and that one, I'm not so sure what I'm going to do with. Within the past couple of days, I also got quite a couple of... What the shit? I swear, constant loud interruptions. Uh, within the last couple of days, I also got a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, for instance, I did get uh, a couple of iPod Touches. One of them is a first gen, and it now it's starting to show a line across the screen, and it refuses to restore. Af also, after being restored once, and then I cut the battery out of it because the battery was uh, unsafe. It was like starting to get to the point where it was going to bloat and then explode. Yeah, so I cut it out and I threw it off someplace, and I'm not sure what after that. But once you put a new battery, and I think you have to restore them. And it won't restore, no matter what I do. I put it into DFU mode, no good. Uh, tried a couple of different computers, no good. Different couple of cables, no good. So I can only guess that within the last couple of, well, the last week or so I've been waiting, something got corrupted or something. Not really too much of a pain because it's just the first gen. I have a second gen, 8 gig, uh, that I picked up for 7 bucks, and uh, it doesn't turn on. 
I was originally thought that it was because there was corrosion inside the dock connector, but that does not seem to be the case here. So I'm uh, probably going to open that up tonight and take a look at it. Um, and have at it with some rubbing alcohol first in the dock connector and see if that helps any first off. And if that doesn't help any, then I'm probably just going to open it up and see what the hell is going on. Because having another iPod touch around would be really nice. Uh, especially since I can't seem to find mine. It's missing someplace in action. So we'll figure that out later on. Uh, well, I'll uh, cross that bridge when I get to it. Um... And then I could just, for the moment, use one of these as a portable media player, I guess. Um, other things that I've gotten. Uh, I have two Power Mac G4s. One is a gigabit Ethernet uh, dual 500 megahertz tower. And that uh, needs some RAM. It needs a working hard drive, and I can sell that. I also have a mirror drive door, Power Mac G4, uh, 1.25 with 3 gigs of RAM, uh, an 80 gig hard drive so far. It does chime when I start it up, but I have not hooked up to a monitor yet. And I'm going to see if I can get that sorted out and uh, cleaned up and ready to be sold as well. I also have an iMac G5 1.6 gigahertz. It has uh, 768 megs of RAM, but I'm pretty sure that I could probably get it up to one or two gigs fairly easily if I can go by anything that I've seen with my mom's. That that should be just fine. Um, <clears throat> that being said, uh, if anybody wants any of these... Oh, yeah, and the iMac G5 1.6 has an 80 gig hard drive in it as well. All three of the, these machines were uh, shop floor poles. They were decommissioned, and then they were pulled and taken uh, by my good friend a few streets over, who uh, works on in uh, scrap metal. Um, and I pretty much uh, uh, got them from him, and I'm going to sell them and uh, see if I uh, can't return a little bit of the profit to him. For, uh, well, I just took it from him to see if I could sell them first off. So I'll see if I can return a little bit of the profit to him and uh, keep this... Uh, Keep this all rolling because this is great and last but not least i also received a mac 2 vx of which i will be placing a link to pictures of down below in the description so that's going to be a thing i did clean it out and if you see there in the pictures you will notice that it does have some brown round spots after i uh, blew it out that does indicate that there is some capacitor leakage and because it's uh, been filled with dust most of its entire life the capacitor goo the, 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 the electrolytic goo pretty much uh, just uh, caked into the dust and there does not seem to be any visible corrosion that's good um, tomorrow I'm going to be removing the battery which has been in there since 94 <coughs> And I'm going to be, well, 93 or 94, depending on what it says. I haven't seen it. I'm outside. I can't see. And uh, I'm going to uh, stick the board into the dishwasher. And I'm probably not going to do a video about that. Not my thing. Um, other than that, I am going to also make a video soon about the, well, again, about the... Mac clone that I picked up. That's going to be fun. I'm still getting that set up. I made a, a uh, video about the Mac clone, and I found out later that it was much more well endowed than I had originally thought. What I first believed to be a very loud, annoying plane up in the sky. Oh my god. What I first thought out to be a PowerPC 604E uh, 250 megahertz turned out to instead be a G3 upgrade and much more. And a whole bunch of stuff like that. So I'm currently building that as I go along too, as money allows for as well. And suffice it to say, I have quite a few hard drives that I have to go through. Mm, excuse me, I'm not very caffeinated right now. 
and I'm probably going to see if I can get the stuff off of my mom's uh, zip disks, her entire zip disk collection, finally. Now that I've moved over the zip drive from the Power Mac 6500 into that, as well as the Rage 128, and I left the USB card in there, I didn't need it. I also got a couple of other things for that too. I got a USB Firewire combo card, which is now in the uh, bottom slot. A I, I found my Sonnet Tempo SATA card, which came out of my mom's uh, Giggy um, system, the Giggy Ethernet uh, Power Mac G4. So I'm going to be hooking up a SATA drive. I have a power supply with SATA connectors, which is going to be going into it so that I can test out this hard drive and see if it really is dead. Uh, and if it is, then I'm going to have to find another 40 or 80 gig hard drive. And that's pretty much it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do... Um, sorry, I'm scratching my finger. I, mean, I just got a mosquito bite. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna... What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm gonna... Put that all in. I've got some SCSI drives I've got to move some data around on. There's some uh, programs and stuff, and I'm going to format them to hell and back, and then I'm going to probably return them to my good friend a few blocks away because I have no need for them. One of them I did promise to somebody, and I am going to uh, get probably the price of shipping and probably like five bucks so that I can forward five bucks on to uh, said friend because, yeah, why not? So five bucks plus cost of shipping, I don't think that's too bad for a SCSI drive, where in this case it is going to be in a, well, it's going to be the spare for an old server that is still running and operational and all that stuff. Yeah. Alright, so that concludes this video. I hope you've enjoyed a look into the two uh, little interesting bits of tech that I have recently got and probably plan on using a little bit, just, just to delve into the world of smartphones, magical smartphones, or phones that aren't as smart as you phones. Well, those are smartphones. This is an I'm smarter than my phone phone. So, let's work it out that way. Alright, with that, I conclude this video. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them. I have no problems with that. Uh, just please don't be a dick and say, Ooh, have, have you seen my company's Bitcoin disruptor? And, and this and that? Please click this link and then go to the survey page and do this and that. I, mean, I don't need that. I, I just had a problem with that today. Someone uh, left a comment on one of my videos and then promptly deleted it so that I could not go in and delete it. That way it goes in and it goes into my email and, so, and uh, shows that to me. Uh, new activity, blah, blah, blah. I don't need that. So I went over to his page and I went to the video and I promptly uh, reported it for uh, mass advertisement and uh, also uh, for scam. Because honestly, anything that says, ooh, get free bitcoins, blah, 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 it's a scam. Nobody's going to give free Bitcoins away. That's what? That's like 300, 400 bucks right now. It went up to like 900 bucks. Nobody's going to give 900 bucks away for free. Money doesn't grow on trees. What? All right, so that's that. Uh, again, any comments, uh, leave, leave them. And I'll be happy to answer them if you have that set up for it. Please make sure that your uh, Google Plus settings are set so that I can reply to your comments else you will not get a, uh, any reply. You will get your comment deleted. Alright, thanks. Uh, with that, I conclude this video. And so, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Or, you'll see me next time. Or not.